Okay, with this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to find the area under a standard normal curve given a Z value uh, for a boundary and using the TI-84. Okay, so in the first example, we want to find the area under this standard normal curve um, that is to the left of Z equals 0 0.023. Okay, so we're looking for this area in here. Okay, so what we need to do is figure out what the lower and upper bounds of our um, area are. Um, so the area is going to be from all the way down here, which is negative infinity, up to 0 0.23. Okay, so to find this, all we need to do is use the normal CDF function in our calculator, and we get to that by doing second and then bars, and then normal CDF is number two, so we press enter. And with this, you want to put the lower bound first and then the upper bound. Well, we can't put negative infinity as a lower bound, so we're just going to use a really, really small number, in this case, negative 10,000. Um, when compared to Z values, uh, that's pretty pretty small, so that'll work. And I put too many zeros, but it doesn't matter. Um, so, um, and then for the upper bound, we're going to put 0 0.23. So that means the area is equal to 0 0.591, okay? On well, this one, we want to find the area to the right of z equals negative 1.36. So this is negative 1.36, and then all the way over here, our upper bound is going to be positive infinity. So just as we use negative, infin uh, negative infinity, we use negative 10,000. Well, in my case, I use negative 100,000, but negative 10,000 is fine. We'll use a positive 10,000 for positive infinity. Okay, so we just do um, normal CDF. Then we do negative 1.36, comma, and then 10,000. So the area is equal to 0.913. Okay. And in this one, we want to know between negative 1.23 and 1.3. So this is negative 1.23, and this is positive 1.3. So this one's actually easier, because all you need to do is just put those two numbers into the normal CDF function. You do uh, negative 1.23, comma, 1.3. Okay. So that means the area. is equal to 0.794. Now, one thing to remember is that the entire area is supposed to be 1, so um, I suggest kind of looking at the graph that you have and seeing if the number you have kind of makes sense. Yeah, this looks like it's about 91.3% of the total. This looks like it's a little more than half, um, about 60% that looks about 80%, so these um, numbers make sense 